This is the sound the starling makes. And this is the sound of an angry starling. She's annoyed because a human being keeps sticking his nose into her nesting procedures. And that human is me. Here in my North London home, I spotted some movement in a dark corner of my loft one day. At first, I suspected wasps. Years ago, I discovered the remains of a wasp's nest, and each year they seemed to come looking for their former home. But this was something else. In that dark corner were newly hatched starling chicks. There's a lot of information about starlings on the internet. It's best not to let them nest at all if you can help it, because they'll keep coming back to a favourite spot. And also, they can sometimes have two broods in the same year. I had thought they got in through a loose tile on the roof, then realised it was actually a hole in the brickwork on the wall. The nest is here, inside the soffit. As a member of the RSPB, I felt duty-bound to make sure the chicks came to know how. The experts told me I had to wait about three weeks. Now, some rarer birds might abandon their nest if they sense danger. But starlings are tough and feisty. The message I got from this starling family was, this is our nest and you can go and get knotted. I actually had a water tank removed while they nested, a noisy and messy job, but this didn't seem to bother them one bit. I didn't disturb them very much. The chick's eyes open at about six days and feathers form after about ten. Both the male and female incubate the eggs and both work hard all day bringing food for the chicks, so they are responsible parents. After about eighteen days, the parents take them out to fly. These photographs look to me just as if they are lining up to take their first flutter. I couldn't get as much footage as I wanted, but the chicks now seemed ready to forage for themselves in the outside world. By reputation, starlings are noisy and messy birds, but their nest was kept surprisingly tidy and clean, unlike the wall outside. I'd developed quite a respect for them. The RSPB say their numbers have dwindled in recent years, but they are making a comeback. I feel satisfied having done my bit to help the starling population. And now I can get on with the rest of my own life. Thanks for watching.